Hey guys, <laughs> Lord Vacchiano, if you saw that, my warm-up. <laughs> anyway, one-handed swings and snatches. Anyway, welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on this wonderful Wednesday. Uh, life's good, life's good. Let's get right to it. I have played a little bit. Uh, you saw the thumbnail. Flexibility of strength, flexibility, and endurance. We did strength yesterday. Flexibility. You saw the picture on the thumbnail? Who's more flexible than Vizuti? Unbelievable. All right, let's see what we got. Some three active rips up to D above double C. And dazzling you <laughs> with my flexibility on the Clark Third Study. Anyway, <laughs> flexibility. Uh, and I can flop right down on a flat split if you want me to, too. You got to go over to the other channel and subscribe over there to get that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I was, I was barely, I just moved my fingers. Barely. Tongue was barely moving. The lips were barely moving. It was all compression, which everything is. All compression. Now, with that said, how do you get great flexibility? Del Stegers, Alan Vizzuti, uh, Liberati, Jules Levy, all the great cornet solos. Now, the cornet, uh, a little easier to have uh, the, the great, um, the great uh, flexibility, a little rounder, a little smaller than Big Bertha, as Mel would call it, okay? But still, guys, flexibility, those Charles Cole and Lip Flexibility studies, guys, I, I can play that thing perfect. I'm, I'm not trying to beat my chest. I can play that thing perfectly, and I don't practice flexibility at all. Flexibility is compression. And relax corners. The minute I have a student that is doing those Clark studies and when he is not using valves, when it's G, C, E, G, C, and it gets stuck, that's tension. That's tension. Now you notice when you do your spit buzzing, nothing gets stuck. Nothing gets stuck. Okay, now, putting the trumpet on that spit buzz, of course, has a little backup pressure and everything that you get without it. But guys, that's it. Relax corners, compression with the tongue, and no air. Okay? When I first heard Wynton Marcellus back at, um, he was in Juilliard at the time. He was... Um, studying with Vacchiano at the time, and Vacchiano could not stop raving about the guy, and good reason. Um, he played much better that, back then than he is now, chop-wise. Um, uh, and I heard a lot about him. He was fooling around with Art Blakey. He hadn't toured with Art Blakey at that point, but he was uh, working the clubs downtown, you know, the bottom line and all that sort of stuff, and everybody's just raving about the guy, and I hadn't heard him yet. Now, I was working for Jerry at a um, New York Brass Conference for Scholarships at his um, booth. This was way back in the day, and I don't remember how old I was. I, I may have still been in college as well. I'm a little bit older than Winton. Anyway, 
It doesn't matter. But anyway, Winton was at, I was at Jerry's booth. Winton was at the Bach booth. Okay? And they had dozens of trumpets. G trumpets, F trumpets, piccolos. I mean, and he was playing them all. Guys, he didn't play above a whisper. It was so small. Okay? When I finally did hear him with the jazz messengers, he was just, it was extraordinary. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But he's swallowing the mic. Swallowing the mic. So the point is, guys, overblowing does not help your flexibility at all. At all. I've said many times when it comes to overblowing, what's easier to control? A little sliver of air or a tornado? You see what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's going to get stuck in the mud if you're, if you're not controlling the compression. Okay? But there is no reason you can't have Vizzuti or Del Steger's type flexibility. Okay? It is just spit buzzing with the mouthpiece on. Relax the corners. Okay? And if you get stuck, G, C, E, G, F, B flat, D, and you're all using first valve, F sharp, B, D sharp, something like that, and you're getting stuck. You all know what I'm talking about. You've lost your compression. You're too tight, and you lost the compression. Stop. Don't try to work through that. Stop. Spit buzz. Reset. Flexibility, guys, through prop. Guys, I don't practice those. I don't practice those at all. They are there if your chops are right. The flexibility, the extraordinary flexibility is there. Either three octaves to notes above double C or Clark type stuff, it's all there for you. All right? Relax the corners, thick tongue for compression, and as little air as possible. Bingo. That's the recipe for virtuoso, virtuosi flexibility. Love you all.